All right, y'all, Rick's about the morning show, man. I'm so uh, excited to have on the show this morning, man, the one and only. Listen, uh, she's a daytime Emmy Award winner, comedian, actress, TV host, author, and member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Y'all, please give it up and show your love for Prairie View A&M University's own Lonnie Love. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie. What up, Ricky? What up, hey, everybody. What up, what up, what up? What up love? Listen, Lonnie, we, we, we go hard for HBCUs, man. We are going, we are promoting our black, uh, historically black universities. Like, I didn't even know you went to Prairie View a and Good morning. Thank you for coming on. Good morning. Yes, I'm a proud HBCU, proud uh, Greek sorority member, and I'm just trying to do these TikTok videos and not catch the Rona, <laughs> y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we are really proud of you. Congratulations on your new uh, memoir. I tried to change so you don't have to. True life lessons. Uh, out of all the lessons in this book, what was the hardest? Uh, what if, What was the hardest one for you to learn? Uh, not to cut people out on social media. That was the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody, everybody listen to me know what I'm talking about. So, and I talk yes. about everything in this memoir. And I just thank y'all for this time because it's important for us as black people. These are historic times for us to start telling our stories. So even if, though we're living in a pandemic, if you're not a writer, all you got to do is jot something down. Just jot something down because five years from now, people are going to want to know how did we outlive this. So this is one of my of many stories. It's funny. It's got heart. I used to be homeless, Ricky. Um, really? I was an engineer. Yes. And it tells. It talks about all of that. Because people don't know. I've been on the road for 20 years. Ricky Smiley used to put money in my pocket and he didn't even know me. So <laughs> like, mm. it's so many great stories in here about how I became a comedian from an engineer, how I was raised from the project. And so I just want to share my stories, and I want to inspire and give hope to everybody else. Man, uh, uh, um, Brett, go ahead, Brett. Man, that's awesome. Man, I Lonnie, swear. We, we, we really do love you, man, and we appreciate everything that you do uh, all the time. We watch you all the time on the, on, the, on, the, on the reel, you know what I'm saying? And we really do love you. Uh, now, one chapter everybody's going to want to read is what really happened with you Uh-oh. and Tamar at the reel. Now, can you give us just a little cliff notes in the book on what happened? Just a little teach to make us want to go on and get it some more. <laughs> yes, that's the chapter. It's called Real Talk. And not only yes. do I talk about that, but I talk about the reason for the real. And okay. if you notice, even if we had Amanda, who recently just left, she was there for five days, and she said, I had enough. <laughs> <laughs> for real, it seemed so, like that long. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I was like, okay, Amanda, but I think if you, if you read my book, and if you know what happened with Amanda, it was, it, Amanda makes it crystal clear that the co-host had nothing to do with this. This is a studio system. It was a studio show. And, you know, I really explain it and I go in detail about the book, about how it actually came to be. But I want to say this, too, about this. We need as many diverse voices on air, on television as mm-hmm. possible. So we have to remember that when we're thinking about, well, should we cancel somebody or should we cancel a show? It's very important, especially right now, to have as many diverse voices as we can on the air. Absolutely. So this memoir, I'm so looking forward to it. And you have found love and have not been shy. It's your girl, Eva. You have not been shy to tell us (laughs) about your man, honey. (laughs) We all know about your man. So tell me, can you give some advice to those that are out there that are looking for love, but they cannot seem to find it? You know what? You could be 3,000 years old as long as it's still working. Let it work. Let it use you, okay? So that's the thing. I think a lot of us have given up on it because we feel like love is not for us and we can't find it. You have to go outside of your options sometimes, especially when you're older. Like me, I had to go outside of my options. Ricky wasn't available. Gary the T wasn't available. So, you know, Brad wasn't available. Everybody, all of y'all, like, I'm like, for real? I can't date nobody for the Ricky Smiley Hey, hey, Lonnie, you know I'm locked down with one of them twins from Little Women Atlanta, so, you know. I'm taking two, girl. I'm sorry. (laughs) I just encourage people to to open up their options. That's all I can say is the best advice is open up your options. Be and never, never 
say, I don't want this type of love. You never know what type of love is going to be what you need. So That's I will right. say that. And you can read all about it in the book. The book has so much in it. It's inspiring. It's hopeful. And you can get it at LottieLoveBook.com. Can you sign us for us? Okay. <laughs> can yes. you sign us for us? Okay. We want special notes now. You got to take your time with it. Hey, hey Lonnie. Okay. Hey, hey. Lonnie, you are always welcome on the show. Uh, you, was, you treated me so nice when I came out and did the real. And uh, and sometimes we're going to hit you up. And I, and I know it's real early in L.A., but sometimes we need your perspective on something, especially being a Sarah and all that stuff. You know how the Q's and Deltas get down. So uh, I really, I really appreciate you coming on this morning. Uh, uh, Lonnie, real quick, let everybody know how you could be followed on social media. You can follow me at LonnieLove.com or Comedic comedian Lonnie Love. Also, make sure to vote. So, you know, I really do want to come back on the show, Ricky, because there's a lot of measures that we need to be talking about for this vote. I'm working with Michelle Obama and uh, Tom Hanks on whenweallvote.org. So make sure this season, everybody's registered to vote. And I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Eva, we got a seat for you, girl. Now it's open. Uh, hey, Eva, yeah. Eva, 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 you better go on out there where you can represent. You can do the morning show Look for my dad. Want to do it. Eva, you better go on out there. Eva. Man, close one door and open another oh, one. Yeah. That Lonnie out there cooking. I'm watching the Instagram, baby. You out there cooking. Yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up for Lonnie Love. Make sure that uh, you pick up a new memoir. It's called I tried to change so you don't have to. Everywhere books are sold. Ladies and gentlemen, one and only, Lonnie Love.